I like to walk everyone through holding their hands. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here with the CEO of Ad Climber. Mark, thank you so much for coming on with us and holding our hands and walking us through uh, your Ad Climber software so that way we can lead gen in the best way possible with the lowest overhead ever, which is your product, Ad Climber. So thanks again so much for your time, and then I'll just uh, let you sort of lead from here. Mark, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So thanks a lot. Uh, what we're going to start with today is going into adclimber.com and basically clicking on download ad climber here this is after you've gone through the sign up and payment phase of the software to get your license okay so once that's completed you can come back over here download the software instantly okay. and you'll see it downloading in the bottom left corner also window on windows so basically running it on parallels on a mac works absolutely fine or uh or boot camp you can do either so with Parallels, that's the most known virtual machine where, where we can basically run a Windows computer on our Macs just by pulling up that Parallels app, correct? Yes. What Parallels will do, it will turn your Mac into a PC temporarily. Okay, cool. And it will allow you to run PC applications outside of your, your Mac iOS at the same time. Awesome. So Ad Climber used to be built for Mac, but because of all the stringent updates and security stuff with all the new versions, right. they've basically, like they've done to, um, let's say, um, what is it, uh, iTunes, you know, they've destroyed the whole thing. Right. So we're, we had too hard of a time keeping up the updates on, um, on Mac versions, iOS. Mm -hmm. So we've pretty much made it specifically for PC now, and you can essentially uh, download it anytime you want. Yeah. For PC. So now that we're uh, we're done here, okay. we'll go ahead and run the installation. So let's go ahead. Now, sometimes you'll see a message. I have very high security alerts on my phone. Okay. Sometimes you'll see a message that will come up saying Windows protected this. You'll see a button up here that says more info. You will click that and then just click run anyway. Okay, cool. The reason that this message pops up is because we have less than like 100,000 downloads um, on Windows. And generally, we're not, you know like that sought after as much as some other some other apps and things like that like Microsoft Word. Naturally, yeah. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is uh, do a repair of my installation, which I don't even need to do because it works fine. Okay. And in your case, you would just be clicking install for the first time fresh. Nice. So if you get any um, uh, pop ups that like close this or open this, just go ahead and feel free to click OK and bypass to the next message. So this should be done installing momentarily. Yeah, and for, just for those of everyone that's watching, uh, Mark, I really like your your uh, interface or your UI, <laughs> like because I've tested a lot of other softwares and even this like clean black and white. You got your logo. <laughs> this is so much nicer than your like other other softwares I've tested where it's like. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> this is a great story about that. There might be some people that have used um, Clad, uh, uh, right. Clad or um, right. CL Autobot Pro. Right. Um, I've designed three of the five softwares that you see mm -hmm. on Craigslist posting softwares that are out there. Right. And I came out with Ad Climber um, as this like beautiful innovation of graphic orientation because we're working with automotive dealers nationwide, mm -hmm. and a lot of them aren't familiar with with how and where to click a lot of times, and it's something new for them. Um, so essentially, what we did was we tried to make an interface that was like Sesame Street friendly. Right. And I think I uh, pointed this out to you on our other uh, webinar that we did. It's a uh, CHD software. Click here, dummy. Yep. So we wanted this to be absolutely as easy to use and remember for people on a daily um, so they can be running and posting ads without a lot of problems. So we have a lot of clean interface stuff versus the standard um, dot net look, which is kind of like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. It's yeah, exactly. very hard to look at and organize things. Yep. So now that we're in the software, the, the first time that you guys log into the software, you're going to have no ads here. Do a share screen. Okay. Do advance, and then I'm going to do uh, portion, go to share. Okay, so now you we should be back to where we were. We're okay, back. so the software, the Ad Climber software is very easy to work. We've broken it down into basically three steps for yourself on the posting. The first step is creating your adverts. You'll simply click a create advert. You can go in and choose what you need. Once you make the advert, then we'll go into campaign manager 
where we'll create a new campaign where you simply click this button. So when you click new campaign, you'll have a window come up and you'll be able to name your campaign and choose specific ads that you want to include in this. And then you'll choose your location. So we'll go into that mm -hmm. next. But essentially we have create your advert, create your campaign mm -hmm. and click what campaign mm -hmm. you want to post. And you're just basically going to select a campaign. Let's say Craigslist. We click start. We'll select our account we want to use. Yep. And it will begin running our advert here. Just to show everyone the ease of how quickly and easily of a process this is without too much overcomplicating of it. Yeah, this is simple. It's simpler than paid ads because with paid ads, you've got your campaigns, ad sets, and ads. But here, it looks like on your system, it's just a campaign and then the ads that are in it, and that's it. Correct. So there's like exactly two, there's like two folders. So, okay, okay, great. So yeah, so boom, boom, ten seconds, fifteen seconds later, we got an ad published. That's awesome. Wow, um, so we just so saw that you can your campaign's done posting. Okay. So that is how quickly it can all work. Now <laughs> let's go back to step one. That's great. We're going to go to Advert Manager, and we're going to make our first advert on the system. Okay. So we put Create Advert. Yep. Let me pull this back in. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We're going to go to Real Estate Category, okay. Housing Apartments for Rent. Okay. Click Continue. Okay. And proceed to fill in all of the required information, not just the green. The more information you include in your advert, Got the it. better ranking you're going to get and the more views you're going to get because you're going to have more data for them to pull from yep. uh, when people are even searching for things. So if it's like a, a, a smoking uh, availability or if it's large dog breeds availability, you want to make sure to include all of that verbiage inside of your description of your ad when you're creating this advert. Awesome. So let's just do... Um, uh, you want to do, do like brand... Yeah, yeah. And let's do postal code. Um, where was I posting before? It was something in Ohio. So let's just do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep. Speed. Let's do. Uh, why don't we do Austin? Yeah, I can tell and, you this too. If you want to get more specific, like you can do like seven eight seven three five. If you'd okay, like. Okay, sure. And then yeah. We can, so seven eight seven three five. And then you can do like five. Great apartment for Austin, rent. Texas. Let's do the rent. Let's just do twenty two hundred. Right. Uh, the right. availability date is today, so you know people can move in. It's good to put in a square footage. Let's yep. put in like fourteen hundred. Yeah. Say something like that. That makes sense. Uh, two, two bedroom. Bath. Two bath. Yeah. Two bathroom. Select the laundry. In unit. It's in the units. Like the parking. Let's say it's a carport. Mm -hmm. um, we can we can add words for uh, keyword optimization for oh, really? like you could do lowest price apartments, um, apartments with pool view. You know terms like that 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 oh. our system is going to optimize that text for you like really? a like an SEO coder would. So it's going to help your ads stay more relevant over Whoa. the time period they're available. So these okay. are the these are these are back end keywords that your system's tying in right there. Yes, exactly. Wow. Okay. So awesome. uh, let's just do a one, two, three, and then I feel like one, no one two. no one's gonna appreciate how easy this process is unless you've worked with like a poorer solution auto poster. Like just to do the back end keywords, guys. I, I had a code. My code was always incorrect. There's always something formatted wrong to get inside of the back end keywords and, and make it work. And Mark has like neatly and nicely positioned it in a box right under the title. So that's awesome. Do we have to separate them by comma or something? Um, yeah. So like let's just do um, like, you know, um, well, wow. Austin condo, condos, uh, comma, um, rent free, wow. no Credit check. Is there a maximum like backend keywords we can use? Well, you'll see uh, sometimes when we're putting them in the ad or interjecting these, it, it can run, it can make your ad look wonky. So it's kind of like an artistic play. Right. Um, okay. You know, it's not, a, this isn't a guaranteed thing you have to do to like make a, make a difference, okay. but it's, it's going to help along the way. Oh. Um, if you, uh, if we just do so like, um, mm -hmm. all today for exclusive, rent offers and receive a dining certificate mm -hmm. just for contacting us period thanks right okay let's, we got incentivized a little bit right uh, now let's uh, let's find some images that I can like upload here of something or other okay uh, let me go into my downloads and just see what wonky stuff I got in here from stores or locations okay. here. And, uh, 
And for all the people, know, for the students watching, we're just gonna let Mark run through the basic setup. And then obviously me and my company will help you optimize descriptions, put in disclaimers relevant to our business. So don't worry. 100%, yeah. Pierre's ads are clean. All the text is clean. With our system and the randomizers built in, you don't really have to be worried about getting your ads flagged for duplicate content. Um, if you're posting supercalifragilisticexpialidocious in every single one of your ads, right. more than likely they'll start hinting in on that after a while. But in the front end, they probably won't catch on to much stuff. Okay. So let's just grab a, a graphic of a nice beach here or like this private charter jet because, you know, they can aspire to be on their own uh, G6 one day. <laughs> so let's go here and now we can preview the picture we just sent. That's good to go. So that's safe. So now we've just created our first advert. So that first advert will be here at the bottom for me, right? but it will be at the top for you. Right. Now, here's a little insider ad climber hack that maybe a lot of people don't realize, but we have a duplicate advert button over here. Right. So you can easily highlight an ad, click this one, two, three, four, five times. Now I've just made five ads I can post separately from themselves over a 30 minute interval each and post one, two, three, four, five ads over a two and a half hour time period. Wow. And our system will help randomize it. So instead of you going in each time and building an ad, you can essentially make a template ad, then re then duplicate that 10 or 20 times, and then go in and salt and pepper each one with a different photo, with some different verbiage, right. make it a little different, put some love into it. Yep. And now you've got 20 different ads. It took you maybe a minute a piece to finalize with something instead of, you know, five hours of building. Right. Um, something Pierre and I might work on is uh, making a mothership account of Ad Climber where he can syndicate pre-written ads out to you guys. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to do any of your ad building. We can just upload 40 or 50 ads directly into your Ad Climber license when you get started. So that's something that is uh, in, in the near future for, for both of us to work on. Right. So now that we have our ads built, let's go on to step number two campaign manager. Now we're going to go to create a new campaign and we're going to give this campaign a name called Austin Oak Hill Blast. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or Austin Oak Hill Blast. Monday right. Austin Oak Hill Blast. So right. I recommend a lot of my, uh, my car dealerships that use this and whatnot. Um, label your campaigns like Monday morning dash ads one through 17 Monday night ads uh, 18 through 27. Tuesday morning. So you can have a campaign made for each morning and night that you just click on, click post, walk away for five hours, come back at the end of the day, run it again at seven or eight o'clock at night and get all those nighttime leads coming in as well. Wow. Okay. So you can make uh, Austin last Monday morning. Um, and then we would obviously say like, you know, in our list here, this would be ads 463 through 468. Okay, so now that our ads have been, we select our ads now by just highlighting them. And now we're gonna choose our location we want to post to on Craig's list. Okay. So I'm gonna find Austin here. Right, by the city, okay. Uh, let's see if we're doing it like this, yeah. Austin, Texas, so we have our location here. Okay. Uh, this uh, scheduling is more for automotive dealers and their ad blocks, so you really don't need to use this for anything. You just need to pay attention to selecting your ads on adverts, select your location or locations um, on here. Now, I recommend just doing one location at a time, like per campaign, because you don't want to muck up your IP address. And if you're not used to doing this, you could, you know, post, you know, 10 ads in two cities that are on the other side of the country within a 10 minute window of itself and, you know, bring down a little bit of, of problems on yourself with flagging not getting blocked, but just getting flagged. So this is kind of um, flagging um, protocols that you want to avoid is jumping around posting nationwide. Luckily, you guys aren't nationwide posters. You're posting in your backyards within your vicinity of, of you know, your, your apartment rentals that right. you're doing. Right. So for now, we're just gonna select Austin. And uh, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go back here and I'm only gonna select four of these apps. And the reason is, is I'm going to do a rapid fire posting of all four of these ads to Craigslist instantly. And uh, you can do this if you want to do what I call burst posting, B-U-R-S-T, burst posting. If you post less than five ads to Craigslist in 10 seconds, they don't care. 
Oh, Sometimes wow. they all will that. stick. So if you go back in every hour oh. and let's say throw five up like this, you can get away with that a lot of times in places. And now you have a larger chunk of ads that's taking a block of space up on Craigslist at one time. That's cool, man. I thought I was a Craigslist master, but of course you're going to teach me something I've never actually uh, looked into. That's great. Yeah. So <laughs> so now let's let now now that we have our advert made. We have our campaign made. Now we can just add our credentials to the software. Okay? okay. So you can add your settings credentials under Facebook Marketplace account, okay. under campaign manager settings, and then advert manager settings. You can add your Craigslist accounts, as many as you want on this side to work through, okay. and even your Craigslist payment card options if you want to run automatic uh, paid postings with Craigslist. Right. So maybe you want to jump into another area and run an ad for something that you're doing that might just be a creative way of you advertising in your area with your apartments, posting an ad for like, you know, we're doing this in the services section. Right. Um, that has like a $5 paid ad, but you're going to get a lot more eyeballs on what you're doing by posting in different categories with your stuff, even though you want to stay in real estate 99.9% .9 of the time. Okay. You know, I want to just, while we're on that note of the paid ads, okay, um, I haven't seen this feature in a lot of other softwares. So for you to be able to store that payment info neatly the way you do is, I think is really valuable because in, in some real estate markets, uh, real estate, uh, that category in Craigslist, we've noticed sometimes you have to pay $5. It, it's not, yeah, New it's York not is common. one of them. Um, there, right. and, and you right. know what, before, but sooner or later, right. um, the, the time's a strike now because yeah. within five to 10 years, which is a long way away in retrospect, yeah. but I look at things like half decade and decade advances in the stuff, yeah. um, you know, car dealerships, we used to post a 50 car inventory yeah. 10 times a day right. for a car dealership. We were posting 500 cars a day on Craigslist for free with hyperlinks. And all of a sudden, overnight, they went to five dollars per per car per post. Right, right, right. But it's okay. The thing I wanted to say is that um, you know brokers or agents that that you know in the markets where you do have to pay five dollars, almost none of them out of in our research post anymore or very very few. So I think it could still be an opportunity for someone. Let's say they're in New York and they're an apartment locator where the model's not really known anyways, and the brokers that post for $5 each are almost non-existent, I think it could still be really valuable to have your system, you know, auto take $5 per post for whatever budget they're comfortable with. And then now they're not worried about, you know, they're, they're not taking that extra time pulling out their cards Listen, and posting. So this is, the, be this is the best thing about a paid posting, okay? It has to be, when it comes from our system, it has to be removed by a real person at Craigslist. Right. A human being, okay? It's under a review process. So the ability of getting your ad flagged on our system when it's paid is literally like a zero percentile. Right. And when you're running a paid ad in, it's a guaranteed billboard for you for any time period. Exactly. So you don't have as much roller coaster up and down rides of, of you know flagging issues and things which I'll keep in mind, our software is about 98% better than anything else out there when it comes to flagging. For some reason, real estate and our software is, is some, something that I can't even really explain that has to do with our API connection for automotive uh, advertising posting. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and run this campaign, okay? Yeah. yeah. So now we're at the stage where we're gonna run our campaign. Step one is done, we made our adverts. Uh, in our advert manager by creating an advert through our advert window. Okay. Step two is creating a campaign, which we did. We created a new campaign. We named it. We selected the ads that we wanted. Yep. We selected the city that we wanted to post in. Okay. And we've saved our Craigslist account info in the software and our Facebook account info in the software. Awesome. So now we are ready to highlight this campaign, Austin Blast Monday morning. Let's go ahead and select image randomizer on it to right. help uh, take care of metadata, things like that. Uh, we can also add our description randomizer, which actually is so in, in you're going to get blown away by this Pierre, and everyone else I'm sure here. So our, descri our description randomizer, unlike everyone else that uses like different uh, words 
in place, like scrambling and rewriting and things like that, right? Spinning, right? okay? Everything uses spinning. Uh, Peter, we use about eight different fonts that are recognized by Craigslist. Oh, wow. So we'll change words of your original writing into different fonts as oh, the wow. artic- as the words are being written. So when Craigslist sees the HTML of it, oh, now wow. they see 13 variations of fonts inside of your same description you've written in the back of it. So in Times New Roman, Ariel Helveca, Sans Serif. Oh, wow. And as this word's changed, that word's changed, okay? So now that we have this in place, let's go ahead and run this puppy. So I'm going to select the campaign, Dang. click start, and I'm going to select the account I want to use. And I'm going to put a zero minute interval here. Okay. This is going to create the auto burst sequence I'm telling you about for five ads or less. And ah. it's going to post them all back to back without even literally taking a breath. So, so don't blink. Okay. All right. Let's see it. So, and I do have some red ads in my account because I'm posting ads for like mattresses and like states that are like 30, you know, 300 miles, a thousand miles away from me. Yeah, that's much a complicated business compared to being a ad locator. Done. Oh, we're on to ad number two. Wow, so zero means there's no rest. It just goes, it posts and posts and posts. 100%. Wow. So Correct. thanks for teaching me about the under five ads you can, you can burst posts. I did not know that. That's awesome. Yeah, so let's say someone can't leave their computer on or they don't want to or they get, they're in a rush somewhere. Right. They can quickly go and fire them in and see what sticks to the wall. Right. And at that point, you know, be on to the rest of their day. Wow. Yeah, and you know, so, locating is really not as complicated for posting, Mark, compared to what you're used to, like being a, being a car dealer or a mattress, you know, company. So, yeah, yeah. I think you'd be surprised about how, you know, the, the few ads that it takes for a locator be, to be successful is massively lower than, like, a car dealer, <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. So, yeah. And, this, this and yeah, great. you guys just have way less competition with, uh, with what you're doing. So I'm going to quickly uh, just jump into a Craigslist window here. And we'll take a look at these ads. I'm just trying to remember my login data to see if I have it open on this other window here. The great thing too is your um, your credentials are saved inside of the Ad Finder software. So if you ever have a problem, you can hit it. So just so everyone can see, we just posted one, two, three, four ads, five ads technically during this call that we've been on. Yeah. And um, so far so good, right? So yeah. we, we've st- stuck them all waiting for them to hit and we go into one of them here. No, that's and great. this could be multiple photos of what you have for the apartment. Right, um, right. I see. You know, call today, exclusive offers. You get the reply. Right. We got our email listed. Um, if you want to include your phone number as well, I didn't select to have that included in the advert. Hey, Mark, question. So, question. Go what, ahead. What are, what are your thoughts on putting in a link into the this real estate apartment category description. Like I, I know it's not clickable like a hyperlink, but would you be okay? Do you think it would be okay for us to say like, Hey, visit below and then just put, you know, like a basic, like nal.com slash get a rental. Yeah, I think, I think it would absolutely be okay. And it's okay until you might notice like you're getting flagged. I personally okay. think if you write enough content that the density of the link is thrown off by the uniqueness of your content, oh, wow. Good answer. then it shouldn't be a problem. And the URL that you're sending is technically yeah. different on each property. Right. So yes, right. that right. also okay. is, is, I think it's totally okay to do. Okay. Great. Um, I, I would be doing that if you're not already tempting that sort of thing. Yeah, because I see that's um, the way we teach it because we're we're leveraging your software, but we're also we like these leads to to, to hit the sales funnel that we've have that we have pre made for our students because you know it's a sales funnel, and so yeah. it's just good for lead gen. But but yeah, that that's cool. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. So okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So now if we look into this ad. Um, We've made we've made changes in the back end for the the SEO of the the ads and also changing some font characteristics inside of this. Wow! And now we basically have our ads posted. So you can manipulate things too. So for instance, instead of saying Austin, Texas, you can actually edit the city box in the software um, in order to uh, oh, really? change okay. that information to something that you want in particular. So oh. let's just go down here. So, for instance, you could have it, I believe, say, like, call now, uh, might, might get rented today. 
you know, like that wow. sort of information here. So you could have this say, um, first month free or like whatever their offer oh, is, right? Like okay. This is a call to action spot. Oh. You can utilize. Okay, so that's not going to throw off flagging in your experience. It's okay to do that. Just keep it short. Yeah, dude, everything's okay to do until you get flagged on it multiple times. Got it. Okay. Okay. And another another pro tip is if you're starting to see a higher flagging protocol in your, in your account, you're not going to get this with Ad Climber if you're driving the Ferrari we give you 80 miles an hour in a 60 versus 150 in a 60 then you won't have any problems. And previous softwares have probably tracked a lot of, of, of bad, toxic like behaviors on your account because the way a lot of these .NET softwares run through your account mm -hmm. and they interface with Craigslist lets them know that it's a bot like in one second. <laughs> right, right, okay. Okay, so if you, it, what you wanna do is start increasing your green ad to flag ad ratio, okay? Okay. So if you have like, you want us on a brand new Craigslist account, let's say a new guy comes on, they set up a brand new account. I would recommend them to post one to two ads a day for the first 10 days. Oh, great. That's what I say. Okay, cool. One to two ads a day for the first 10 days. Once after that, you can start posting three to five ads for maybe another 10 days. Awesome. Um, and then after that, try five to seven ads for the next 10 days. And after 30, and you don't, and you have like a bunch of green ads, okay. and then you're going in and also renewing your ads. Got it. Um, inside. So they want to see you recycling your ads and stuff. Okay. Um, so you can like utilize that. this through the software, but our automation of this isn't right. good for the apartment rental criteria because your guys' ads are more sharpshooter accuracy right. versus a car dealer needing to renew 50 ads in the next 20 minutes at six o'clock at night. So they get everybody coming home from work. Yeah. So you guys can easily go into your account and manually click renew on your ads right. and then just go and repost new ones with Craigslist. So, so what you want to do is you'll have a Craigslist account with like 50 or 60 ads in it. Okay. You'll have 20 or 30 that you can renew manually. And then you have ad climber to easily try new experimentation and tricks and multi-posting ads to get yeah. more new content up as old ads are expiring away. Got it. Got it. Yep. So we're thinking about um, the way we teach it, and this is through my experience, so I'm, I'm happy to be able to ask you stuff since yeah, you're the master at this, but we're teaching students 20 or 30 ads a day using Ad Climber, and then just just don't do any more per account or per proxy, right? Is that- That's a completely fine number, and nationwide here, if you're seeing numbers like that working, I would say go to 40 or 50. Got you know it. what I mean? Got like it. literally, like I would keep increasing it until you don't. I have, I have, I have clients that post 120 ads a day. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. Yeah. So it just depends on what area you're in for this. All the flagging algorithms are different, specific yeah. to different categories, specific to different cities right. on Craigslist, right. and it's all bot automated. Yeah. So you might be in a honey hole. We're like, oh my God, I can post like 60 ads a day and nothing gets flagged. Why? Oh, oh in, I see. So in the category or in the location, you're saying sometimes you can get away with posting more compared to like, you know, New York or like Kansas. Like, like you're saying the flagging is going to, going to be different. A hundred percent. It's just like, it's just like one guy having 20 or 30 apartments for rent. He has access to because of his geographic place versus another guy that has 10 or 12. They'll find that with the software, they'll hit a ceiling eventually, but they can keep trying to increase. But doing 20 or 30 ads a day, wow. even if you even if you put a, a dollar an ad to that number and you were doing 20 ads a day, that's $600 a month Right. that you would have to pay a virtual assistant $1 to manually post an ad. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Because a lot of students do ask us, they're like, hey, we see on Fiverr or Upwork, like we can pay $2 a post for a green ad and you know I've always liked your software but that's a good way to look at it you're like you know if you're doing 600 ads a month or you know or more then yeah that's that's twelve hundred dollars you know compared to your your ad climber fee of oh um, yeah and, and you less. know what those <laughs> those ads you don't own them you don't own those ads either right because they're not on your account right Makes they sense. are not on your yeah. account so any of this is just the b biggest uh awesome. bait and switch that these that the fiber people have on just sucking poor people in that right, need ads right. posted. Like, it's and it's dollar. like oh we do this price and this price <laughs> yeah. and they send you a file and it's like wait it got it got ghosted in three days 
And like, oh, we only said 48 hour period that the ad has to be live. Right, for. right, right, right. You know, okay. so yeah, that's just that's just a nightmare even outside of using using the, some of these other softwares that are out there. Right. And so then what's funny um, is they're probably using your software anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're probably using. Yeah, your I mean, it's the, the you know, place. realistically, <laughs> if, if you look at what else is what else is Google wise out there, yeah. uh, let's yeah. do a funny joke on this. Right, right. Uh, creates a software. Yeah, I swear I've tried like use. 10, Mark. It was crazy. Yeah. And some of them were really Okay, ridiculous. this is a common one. This yeah. look right here. Choosing zip codes, what account. You got to hook it. You got, you have to hook in a, 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 a VPN right. or like proxies. Exactly. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's such a nightmare on the whole process. That's what you're getting into in, in that line of, of site. Plus, you know, it's just, it's an easy, fun tool to work with. It's fun to test things. You're like, ooh, I'm going to post 30 ads today with this type of picture on it or this incentive on it or this language on it. So it's like doing split A, B testing right. with ad climber is very easy to do. So you're not just digging a hole in the wrong spot every day. Right. You know, you need to figure out what criteria sells to the people in your local area. That was all three steps. Yeah. I mean, that's as quick as it is. You know, you have step one, create your ads. Step two, create your campaign. Step three, run your campaign. That's awesome. Back over to the account. I mean. Oh, is that it? Can, can you hit refresh on that real quick? Oh, yeah. I just want to. Oh, yeah. You hit refresh. Yeah. I just put you through the test. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Because I've had other softwares where, you know, you post an ad in like 10 seconds, you're red. And that's just because they, they recognize you immediately as a bot. So that's really cool that you ran through these ads with, with us. It's been what? Like probably 20, 30 minutes now. We see yeah, that, we yeah, see they're, they're still, still stuck. So, hey, so they, they should be popping up here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and uh, that's you know, cool, in man. To that, you pass hey, the if test. Anyone needs, so just so you guys know, and I'll show you this because Pierre knows where I'm at. But is uh, let's do this. What is my IP address? Oh, no. So everyone can see that I'm in Southern California, and I'm posting ads in Austin, Texas. Yes, California oh, this region, is good. U.S. Cox communication, same stuff you guys are going to have IP wise with your ISP provider. No need to buy a bunch of baloney proxies and all that stuff. Just run the software and don't be greedy oh, and man. you'll do fine. That's what, that's my recommendation. That That's awesome. Mark, I, I see that um, you've made a really awesome user friendly tool, um, which is a Craigslist and Facebook marketplace auto poster. I think you have you know only the critical features as options like hey auto delete hey you know auto renew auto post so you're keeping things really really easy um you're removing any kind of code work which my earlier students know when we taught the cla poster there was tons and tons of code that you know they just had to go through before we found out about you know ad climber and, and you mark so Thanks for making this tool. One last thing I'd like to say is that years ago when I was, you know, a noob in this, I don't know, you probably don't remember, but I was just one of your customers and we've never really, you know, we, we didn't really officially meet. Um, but you, the way you explained Ad Climber to me was really, really cool. And I try to explain that same analogy to my students. You said auto posting on Craigslist and Marketplace is sort of like climbing Mount Everest. You're like, you know, the only things you can do or anyone can do is give you the right tools to climb the mountain successfully, we can give you advice. You know, we can say, hey, you know, go through this th this path. Here's a backpack, here's some gloves, Here, you know, here's this and that. But it's up to us at the end of the day, you know, to, to get, to, to reach the top of Mount Everest, right? So I, I think that uh, Ad Climber is the best tool in this analogy, you know, to do the job. But it's really up to us to continue testing and continue, you know, not being greedy to, so that way our ads stay green and we're, we're scaling our marketing organically uh, uh, this way, right? So I think- I Yeah, like I mean, getting 20 or 30 billboards up a day on your local city on Craigslist, that's being viewed by thousands to hundreds of thousands of people. Right. You know, daily. So it comes down to your, your um, information that you're proposing to them that's gonna hook, line, and sinker those people into call. It's getting, it's that one touch sell. So what's great is you have 30 billboards for a hundred bucks a month that you can put anything on those billboards that you want. And then you find what works. You go wide first, then you go deep. So you're like, oh, I'm noticing that these ads are getting more calls on these places. Let me dissect those ads and see what language is in here, you know, that, right. that made those more clickable than these other ones.
So that's that's how your people are going to sharpen their swords and have ten twenty thousand dollar months. Right. Exactly. And then we can organize in separate new campaigns the way we see fit. Right. Yeah. And that's something that here you and I can come together on and make a Monday through a seven day working campaign. Okay. Uh, we can design the ads and the campaign so your students would be able to uh, just add their personal information into each ad. Yeah. And then essentially, so this is uh, this is what I was explaining to you here is the reference variable. Okay. So let's say we had, um, you know, agents phone, agents city, you know, agents price, agents this. So you can actually change these and they would say like the city that they're in would change from Mission Viejo to Austin on all of their ads. Oh, okay. City, state one, Mission Viejo. Okay, I see. Zip one. So these are like kind of like short code snippets. Kinda. Right. So, so letting everyone know I have about 300 mattress stores that use this software monthly. Okay. Um, so they change prices from their distributor on what a king set costs. So if the king set changes to 385, they need to change 400 ads in their account from 3 379 to 385. Oh. How long did that take? Right, right. So this is just a dynamic way to edit things at large scale. It's it'll change dynamically with these little with these val key and Correct. value. Yeah. Okay. So like a high level person would put like a spot for verbs, right? So it's like. Do you want to jump into a new condo today? You can ch change from jump to climb to, you know, like any other words that could apply in that verb spot. So you can manipulate your writing and see like what phrasing is developing like neurological linguistic patterning to the customer. Okay, cool. Wow, city state. Wow. But that's a whole other three hour video. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. We'll do that one next time. So, yeah, I'm going to let you go, Pierre. I okay. think that's enough um, for yep. today. We don't want to confuse everybody. And um, I hope I see a lot of you guys on the other side. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate your time. And thanks for adding value. Thank you. Bye. Bye.